Hello, I am your teacher, Gary Vernier. Welcome to Activate Your Grammar. Today, you are going to learn about the passive voice in English. Let's begin with what you already know, the passive voice in Spanish. In Spanish, there are two different ways to express the passive voice. The first, ser más el participio pasado. Here are some examples. El libro fue escrito por Juan Martínez. El paciente será trasladado por helicóptero al hospital. La comida es preparada por mi abuela. Now, here is the second way to form the passive voice in Spanish. Con la palabra se. Here are some examples. Se vende libros en aquella tienda. Se aquila la casa. Now that you have seen the passive voice in Spanish, let's move on to English. To begin, what is the passive voice? There are two ideas to understand about the passive voice in English. Idea number one. The passive voice is used to focus on the action, not on who or what performed the action. Here is an example. My bike was stolen. In the example above, the focus is on the fact that my bike was stolen. I do not know, however, who did it. Idea number two. We also use the passive voice to be polite and not offend someone. Example, a mistake was made, not John made a mistake. In this case, the focus is on the fact that a mistake was made without blaming anyone, like John. The video will now stop and you will complete an activity identifying sentences in the passive voice. There are three rules you must understand to be able to form the passive voice. Rule number one. To form the passive voice, you must follow this formula. Subject plus the correct form of the verb to be plus the past participle. Here are some examples. A letter is written. The books are read. The car was washed. If you have not learned the past participle of English verbs by now, you need to take some time, study, and learn them. There are many irregular verb forms. The video will now stop and you will complete an activity forming sentences in the passive voice. Rules number two and three are very similar. Rule number two, the object of the active sentence becomes the subject of the passive sentence. And rule number three, the subject of the active sentence becomes the object of the passive sentence or is dropped completely. Here are some examples. Active sentence. Rita writes a book. The passive sentence. A book is written by Rita. Note how in the active voice, Rita is the subject. But in the passive voice, Rita becomes the object. Active sentence. Rita wrote a book. Passive sentence. A book was written by Rita. Note how in the active voice, the book is the object. But in the passive voice, book becomes the subject. Active sentence. He will open the door. Passive sentence. The door will be opened by him. Note once again 
how the subject and object change places in active and passive sentences. The video will now stop and you will complete an activity changing active sentences to passive sentences. Congratulations! Now you understand the passive voice in English. I will see you back here for the next lesson. Good luck!